Greetings. Know ye that you clothe in special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Joshua Terry, Stephen Rios, Andrew Johnston, George Dinojosa Rodriguez. I do appoint this Marine a warrant officer in the United States Marine Corps. The rank as such from the first day of February 2018. This officer will therefore carefully and diligently discharge the duties of the grade to which appointed by doing and performing all manner of things thereunto belonging. And I do strictly charge and require these officers and other personnel of lesser rank to render such obedience as is due an officer of this grade and position. And this officer is to observe and follow such orders and directions from time to time as may be given by me or other superior officers acting in accordance with the laws of the United States of America. This warrant is to continue in force during the pleasure of the Secretary of the Navy for the time being under the provisions of those public laws relating to officers of the armed forces of the United States of America and the component thereof in which this appointment is made. Done at the city of Washington this first day of February in the year of our Lord, 2018, and of the independence of the United States of America, the 241st. Signed, Robert B. Nelder, Commodore of the Marine Corps, R.B. Spencer, Secretary of the Navy. Got any keratin? State your full name, do solemnly swear. I that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, against against all enemies, enemies foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I will bear, bear true faith and allegiance to the same. same. And I take this obligation freely. And I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. That I will well and faithfully, 
I will well and faithfully discharge the duties discharge the duties of the office in which I'm about to enter. Of the office of which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. All right. Congratulations. Everyone stand at ease. And if you all could just turn around right here, face face the folks that came to see you. Before I give them a chance to speak, I just want to say a couple words. Um, this is a very big deal today. Today's a big day, especially for these Marines right here. They just made it, and, and there's another one in here too, right? All the new warrant officers. They just made it through one of the toughest screening processes in the Marine Corps. We had over 30 Marines applying for these promotions right here, and these are the Marines that, that have earned it. So it's a really big deal today. The, these warrant officers have, they've got a ton of intellectual firepower. They're the best at providing ammunition support to the Marines out in the fleet. They've got natural leadership abilities, and they're the ones that earned it. They made the cut to become an ammunition warrant officer. So I'm, I'm honored. I mean, this is, a, this is a special group, talented Marines that we have before us. So I'm honored to welcome them aboard to the ammunition community. I also want to remind everyone, the ammunition community, we have some tough challenges ahead of us. Some tough challenges. we got the Marine Corps. We're changing the structure in the Marine Corps. We're changing the way we engage our enemies. So we've got to, we've got to embrace technology. We've got to look, we've got to rethink the conventional way of doing business. And we need these Marines here, these smart Marines here to help us do that. These Marines are the right Marines to help us do that. They, they come from diverse experiences that they've had. They've got unique talents that's going to help us. They're the right, right Marines. The Marine Corps did, did a good job this year and selected some good, good Marines to help us get through this. So I want to thank you all for making this commitment to yourself and to the Marine Corps to improve our ammunition community. But I just want to let you know you're, you're just now getting started. I know you're starting as a, as a warrant officer. You're just now getting started. So your first mission is to go to TBS, finish TBS. You need to represent yourself well, represent the ammunition community well. Because what you're going to do after TBS is you're going to come out to the fleet, which we need you in the fleet, and you're going to take over the ammunition community. We need you're going to replace us, the older ammunition officers. So we need to do that. So, so let's get to it. All right. Come on, Deacon Division Leader. I'll kick it off. Well, first of all, thank uh, ladies and gentlemen for coming out to see the promotion of myself and these three and eventually four other guys. Um, I want to thank Guard Sergeant Carrington. Um, I've been with Guard Sergeant Carrington since DI school. After DI school, we end up on the view together, so me and him become really close. Our kids are really close. Um, at times, he's a little older than me, as you can tell, but you can look at him at times. I look at him as a mentor, especially on the drill field, especially coming back in the fleet, reintegrating back into my West trying to get to know the Marines and the Marines around him and myself. Uh, I want to thank my best friend uh, that I grew up with. I've uh, known Joe since I was 12 years old. When, when we were about 13 and 14, our, our idea was we were both going to the Marine Corps together and eventually, you know, retired from the Marine Corps. He ends up snapping his arm playing touch football one day, getting a plate put in it. And at that point in time, he chose to be a cop because the Marine Corps medical procedures wouldn't let him in, and I was a Marine. So, to have those two here today means a lot to me. To have the rest of the ammo community get to meet some people I've never met before, um, it's really, uh, it really touched me deep inside to be able to be back in the community, away from everything else and around the people that I enjoy to be with. But I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Happy New Year, everybody. I just want to thank everybody, family, friends, for coming out here, peers, coworkers, everybody else. Uh, I've worked with a, a few over the years, uh, Captain Rudy. Everybody else out here, um, I, I just appreciate the opportunity and the confidence that everybody has in us, and all the things that our peers and you guys have taught us that put us in this spot now to continue and pass that on to our our junior personnel. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all very much for coming. Uh, the staff that came from Camp Lejeune and took that drive to come up here, I truly gratefully appreciate it. Uh, my family that came all the way from New York, my father, he, he, uh, he doesn't get much time off of work. He literally drove here last night, got here at midnight, and they have to be back because he has to work tomorrow morning. And he made the sacrifice to come here, so it means a lot. So thank you very much. Um, my grandfather and my dad, I looked up to him very much. They're, they were the first symbol of what a man is supposed to be. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Lanham, thank you very much for coming. 
Uh, last year I put in, I didn't get accepted. I sent him an email saying, uh, thank you for your advice, sir, because he gave me a big list of things I should do to, to get selected. I didn't get it, and I told him just thank you, but I'm not going to apply. And uh, he influenced me to try again this year, and he's a big reason I'm standing here today in front of you. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, I want to thank my wife. She's on FaceTime right now. She's another motivator that pushed me to be where I'm at today. So thank you as well. Um, all of you, uh, I love you all. I, I plan to serve you all as a warrant officer and do my best for you in the Marine Corps. Hurrah. I'd just like to take a moment and thank everybody for coming out. Um, Captain Roy, especially when I was forward deployed this last year, definitely a great mentorship, sounding board, sound advice anytime I needed anything. I appreciate you coming out. And of course, my wife and kids. Um, ultimately, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, they're the ones I do this for. Thank you. Right. Come on up and uh, congratulate them. Shake your hand. Congratulations.